that same came in with an F fan. Two girls with him told me he ain't got a preference. Had them both down and I asked a few questions. Met last week and they already best friends. Already best friends. Yeah. Met last week and they already best friends. Friend. Met last week and they already Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. Happy Friday. Today is Friday. I am actually working from home today. Right now it's like, I don't know, 11 o'clock or 10. 30 i'm not sure by the title of this video you guys already know we're getting into this bedroom makeover or slash redecorating honestly i don't even know why i said redecorating because my bedroom was never decorated to begin with <laughs> so oh that's my email hold on okay we're all good so yeah, I just wanted to do my skincare real quick and introduce the vlog and let you guys know what's going on, how we're gonna make over my bedroom. I know, it's been long awaited. And honestly, by the time this vlog comes out, it'll be like two, three weeks when this vlog, since my last vlog. And I'm sorry. The last makeover vlog that I did was on my, was my living room makeover. We went to all the stores that you would normally go to on a budget. We went to Ikea, we went to Target, we went to At Home, we went to Marshalls, TJ Maxx. We're gonna be doing the same thing because we're definitely still on a budget. I was looking on Amazon and I found some things that I could get for my bedroom. So we're gonna be shopping on Amazon as well. So now I'm about to show you what my bedroom looks like now, like a before. It's pretty sad. <laughs> Sorry about my shirt, it's wet from washing my face. Here's the before. I know, crazy. This is where I have my shoes. Oh wait, this is my closet. Should I show you guys what's in here? It's just clothes and yeah, this little drawer thing that I'm gonna get rid of has like all my socks and underwear and like sleepwear and stuff like that. These bins here is like where I keep like my winter clothes and summer clothes when I switch them out. So that's my closet. This is my shoes. Like this has to go. Like this little, I need a better system for this. My gym clothes, which clearly it's in a bin because I don't have any room in my closet. Okay, and then I have these clothing racks. Um, I was utilizing these clothing racks because I didn't have room in my closet, so I had to use these to hang my shirts and stuff. Um, so my plan is to tear down this leaning one. See how like it's like leaning to the side? It looks so sad. I have to get rid of it. This one here I'm gonna keep because it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty strong. So I'm gonna keep this one here. And then I have my windows here. So my plan is to obviously get curtains and curtain rods to put on the windows. Oh, I didn't explain what I was gonna put in replace of this clothing rack. So I'm thinking about putting a dresser here. I think I found one on Ikea that would best fit here. I mean, I wanted to get one to match my the bed frame of my bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking about putting something on the wall. I don't know what. I was thinking maybe like, like a neon sign or something. I don't know because when I do film like reels and stuff, I'll set the camera or my phone here and then I'll have like a nice backdrop behind me. I was thinking about something to put here. I'm thinking maybe like a small bookshelf similar to the one that I have in my living room. This is my bed. <laughs> it looks so sad, right? This is how I make my bed. I just throw the sheet over the pillows. So obviously I'm keeping my bed frame and my mattress cause yeah, y'all look up how much mattresses and bed frames are online and tell me how much they are. You can buy one for me. And then over here is so sad, like, why do I have this dusty ass lamp? And then I have this here. Y'all, get yourselves one of these because when I tell you spritz, 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 this shit will knock you out. And then maybe something on this wall too. I need to find like some wall art or something like that. Or maybe something to put above the headboard of my bed. So yeah, that's what my room looks like. 
Good morning. It's actually not morning. Good afternoon. It's currently 12 o'clock. Today we're going to Ikea to buy a dresser. I'm looking for a nightstand and a bunch of other stuff. Hold on. I have a whole list. Why don't I just look at the list, Raheem? Mirror, dresser, bookshelf. Obviously we'll see if I find anything else that sparks my interest. We're about to head out. I just got ready real quick. Um, nothing crazy. It's like 70 degrees outside, I think. I have on this black hoodie from Target. I have on my Hoochie Daddy sweatshorts from Abercrombie and Fitch. Can we get into this calf muscle? Yeah, you see it. Okay, so this is the one I'm thinking about getting. This is the bookshelf I'm thinking about getting. It's only $34.99. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm vlogging on my phone. I think it's a good size to go right next to my bed. We'll think about it. And it's pretty affordable too. Y'all remember this mirror? This is the mirror that I wanted to get last time for my bedroom. This one is much skinnier than the one I have in my living room. So I might just get this for my bedroom. Look at this dresser. I think this is the one I'm looking for, but in brown. Oh shit. Why is there like bras and shit in here? It says look inside. There's actual stuff in here. What the hell? <laughs> oh my God, this record player is so nice. I think this is the nice stand I'm looking for, but in brown. It's a pretty nice nice stand. Oh my God, this drawer is nice too. This is the one I found online, but I want it in brown. We get it. You want it in brown. And this is a five drawer one. But I'm looking for a three drawer one, something small. Oh, here it is again in black. Can I put this together by myself too? I hope so. Okay, so this is the one I really wanna get. This one right here for sure. I like the handles. Again, this shakes me to my core every time. This one is the five drawer. I think I'm gonna go for the three drawer one though. But wait, I think I found a better looking shelf. This would look really nice. It, it's skinny enough too. Oh, $450. Yeah, they tried it. Should I get gray curtains for my bedroom? $44. Yeah, tried it. But low key, I think I might end up getting the same curtain rod, like the one I have in my living room. It's this one right here, but just getting different end caps. Like the one in my, wow, I almost busted my ass. The one in my living room has this end cap. I might just get these instead. Look how cool these look. They look so cool. And you know what? While I'm here, I might as well look for curtains as well. I'm, I don't want to go for gray. I kind of want to look for like, I don't know, like a navy, something to match my curtain rod. I mean, my bed sheets. I feel like maybe brown to match the dresser and the bed frames and the nightstand. What do you guys think? These blue ones look really nice, especially this one right here. Yeah, this one looks really nice. Damn, how much is it? Hey, $20. Oh, 64. Yeah. I want to put a rug in front of the bed. I'm sorry, you can go. <laughs> oh, this one looks really nice. A hundred dollars? Ew, that yellow shit is ugly, actually. Oh God, here's the plant section again. I'm thinking about putting a plant on top of the dresser. Oh, maybe something like this. Like one of these. Look really nice. Okay, guys, I got myself a cart. Now let's go find the dresser and the nightstand. Okay, we found shelf, well, aisle one, shelf 82. I'm guessing it's two parts. Y'all, we did it. <laughs> so it's only two parts, one and two. They're not that heavy. Let me just make sure though. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. This product comes with two packages. Okay, let's go get the nightstand. Oh Y'all, it's so hard to control this fucking cart. What aisle am I looking for? Aisle four. We're in aisle four, shelf 23. Okay, we're here. All right, so this is the one I'm looking for. How do you pronounce this? Sanga sand? Whatever. 
That's the one I'm looking for, and it's down here. Is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. Why is it so long? Oh damn, I almost dropped it. Oh my God, and I just remembered. <sighs> Sorry y'all, I'm like fucking sweating. I just remembered I still need the bookshelf and I need to get it because it's on sale and there's only a few left, so I need to get it today. I got the bookcase. Bruh, there was only nine left. I think I'm gonna hold off on getting the mirror though only because I want to see how much space I have at the end. Because if worse comes to worse, I can always bring the mirror from my living room to my bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I think we're done here though. It's the way that I'm sweating. You see that? Yeah. I just carried all that up the stairs by myself. Okay guys, so I finally got myself together and we're getting ready to put our first piece together, which is the, the dresser. I want to say it's going to be the dresser because there's two parts to this and I feel like it's also going to take me the longest to put together and I kind of want to get it over with. I just cracked open this Celsius. Y'all, this flavor, what is this again? Mango passion fruit. It's so good. So yeah, I'm going to set you guys up. I'm also going to be recording on my phone. I don't want to record for a reel slash TikTok. Yeah, we got to get this content in. We got to get this content in. So I think I'm gonna do a montage. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, now that I'm filming <laughs> the bedroom makeover, I'm not ashamed to show you guys. I'm not ashamed to film in here anymore. Oh shit, how do I, I guess I will do it this way. Child, I don't know, I'm trying to show you guys my setup. Okay, this is the ring light that Raquel got me. Shout out to Rocky. Thank you, Raquel. Get you friends that support your content creating dreams. Get you those friends. Gonna set my phone up right next to you guys. Oh wait, is this right? No, this is wrong. <laughs> My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen, angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave yeah. Oh my god, you guys, look at the dresser, it's finally done I can't get closer right now because the camera's on the tripod, but Look at it. it, came out so good. We finally got the nightstand built. Look at it. It's so small, but it's really nice though. I thought it was gonna be harder to put together, but it actually came out good. And look how close it matches to my bed frame. Isn't that crazy? Same with the dresser. Like what? Oh, that's nuts, Millie. 21, can you do something for me? 21. Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Then 21. Yeah, so my camera died. Um, I'm actually happy it died because this piece of shit shelf, excuse the greasy face, but for some reason my camera is not focusing on the shelf. This $35 shelf took me like two hours to put together. Yeah, dead ass. Number one, I had this shit upside down, so I had to take it apart and put it right side up. Number two, I'm scared to put anything on it because low key I feel like it's gonna tip over. And then I accidentally, I was nailing this back panel here, but not the, obviously I didn't nail the entire. Okay, can it, can it stop? Y'all, it's really not focusing. I wonder if it's because I have this light on. Nope, still not focused. Okay, anyway. 
this back panel here. I feel like you can barely tell if it's nailed down or not. I decided to just put nails on the top corners here. I accidentally hammered the nail a little too far into this thing. Oh shit, you see what I'm talking about? Even though it doesn't match the brown dresser and nightstand, it does match this part of my bed frame here. So yeah, that's it for tonight. I still have to switch over to my other vlog. <laughs> Is this what being a content creator is like? You did me dirt. So what did I do? Like, it's a little dark in here, huh? Okay, guys, it's days later and I am parked outside of at home right now. We're getting ready to walk in and see what they have. Let's go. Look at all these price drops. What? Oh, wow. I think this with the like dark wood would look so nice. Ooh. $24 though, but it's so nice. We'll put it in my cart. I'm looking for one of these trays to put on the dresser. Something nice. Maybe nothing like that. Guys, I think we found one. But this looks so small. However, the dresser I do have is small, so maybe this would be perfect. Y'all. Are y'all seeing the vision or am I bugging? Isn't this so fucking cute? Okay, now let's see what Home Sense is giving. Um, why does this look like a. Never mind. I found two potential candles that I could possibly get. This is the first one. And then this one right here. I'm thinking this can either go on the dresser or the bookshelf. We'll see, but I think I like this too. Guys, I just found this nice ass vase for $12.99. What do you guys think? Okay, so I just left HomeSense. Um, it was kind of mid. Like, I didn't find much. But yeah, let's go check out Marshalls. I low-key need a rug to put in front of my bed. I just don't know what color. This one looks nice. This gray one. Oh my God, it's only $20, what? Okay, so, so far I've gotten these few things here. I got this little candle to put on my nightstand. I think it'll go really well with the lamp that I have. And then I got this to put in front of my bed. And then I got this blue looking vase to put on the bookshelf. We're gonna see how this looks. I think I found a better color rug to go with, ooh, to go with the vibes of the room, of my room. There's like blue, light blue, gray. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I think it's cheaper too. Yeah, it's $16.99. Oh my God. I'm in love with this new light that I got from Amazon. Let me show you guys. This. I am your father. <laughs> I just got it from Amazon. I got a bunch of other stuff from Amazon too. I feel like I should do an Amazon haul or something. So much better. I barely get any lighting in here. I mean, my windows and blinds are open, so I don't know. I haven't been able to find much at these stores today, and I don't know if it's because it's Sunday. And the little bit of stuff that I did end up getting today, I mean, you guys pretty much saw everything that I got. I got these things here. So now what I'm about to do is just go on Amazon and just order a bunch of shit. It's time for a haul. I had already opened this box because one of the things that I ordered was a new clothing rack. When I got a notification saying that it was delivered, I was like, how the fuck y'all put a clothing rack in this box? Then I thought to myself, duh, it's in pieces. So yeah, I had already opened this box just to make sure the clothing rack was actually in here. I ordered a new quilt. I got it in this navy blue color. Damn. Okay, what is going on? 
Ooh, okay. And I think it came with two pillowcases. I went with a quilt because right now the weather is getting warm and so I felt like this would be best for when I'm sleeping. And it has like a diamond design on it. Got it off Amazon, y'all. I'll probably put up a photo, a screenshot of everything I got on the screen. Next up, I got these LED strip lights. I'm confused because where am I supposed to plug this into? Was I supposed to order the adapter separate? Like, I'm confused. And then, this is the garment rack. I also got these shoe storage boxes. Basically, it looks like this. And then, I got a five foot palm tree. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. And then lastly, can y'all see my address? I got a neon sign. Now, before I open this up, honestly, I'm just gonna show, I'm just gonna tell y'all, when this neon sign was on its way here, it had me thinking, why did I just get a neon sign of my social media handle? Does that low key make me feel like a narcissist because the whole point of me getting this neon sign was to have as like my backdrop for when I'm filming, you know, TikToks or YouTube shorts and like have people, you know, find my page. But then I was like, but if people come across your videos, they'll see your name at the bottom of their screen. So what was the point? I don't even know why I had to explain myself. Let's just open it up. Wow. What? All right, it's plugged in. Let's test it out. Oh, yes. Uh-huh, yeah. You see it. That was everything that I got from Amazon so far. I guess we can start putting stuff together now, huh? Oh, that's nuts, Billy. 21, can you do something for me? 21. Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Then 21, can you do something for me? Drop some bars to my pussy ex for me. Then 21, can you do something for me? Can you talk to the ops next for me? Then 21, do your thing, 21, do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Yellow diamonds in the white. This shit costs a lot. Never send them die. That's how you get shot. I DM in vanish mode, I do that shit a lot. Took her panties off and it's thicker than a plot. All my S's ain't nothing, them hoes bust. All right, guys, I'm finally done. Let me show you guys what I did. All right, so this is the clothing rack. Doesn't it look nicer and neater? Like more sophisticated and shit? Um, it wasn't that hard to put together. And then here's the plant. Mm-hmm. I have to do a little bit more work with it. I kind of have to like spread the leaves out a little bit more, but this is what it looks like for now. I just realized with this neon sign, let me set it down here. With this neon sign, it actually has like a plastic film behind it that I can take off right here. And I'm glad it does because at first I was like, this looks a little cheap. <laughs> I mean, it still was, but I decided to leave the neon sign for last and just put it up off camera because I'm gonna need to take my time with this one. I need to put it exactly where I want it and I don't know how high or how low I wanna put the neon sign, but we're gonna deal with that some other day. And then this is the shoe organizer. I only ordered a pack of 12, so I'm gonna have to order more. And I like how they're like snapped in place so they won't like tip over or anything. The doors are pretty easy to open. Not all of my shoes fit, you know, right side up. So I did have to lay a couple of them, like the boots and stuff, down like this. So yeah, that's everything that I got done so far. I think the next time I pick up the camera, it'll be time for the room tour.
Guys? <laughs> I know I look crazy right now, but listen, we move. So like, did you guys like the room transformation? I don't know, let me know, let me know down below. But let's get into the room tour. All right, so we're gonna do this really quick because it's been about a month since my last video. So <laughs> I need to get this edited, uploaded, and posted for you guys. I was waiting for my father to come and help me put this curtain rod up because he has a power drill and he literally just left. He put it up and I just grabbed the camera and started recording. So this is what it looks like now. I guess we'll start with this. This is the curtain rod. Same curtain rod from Ikea. I just have different end caps. The sheer gray curtains came from Target. Um, I have the same ones in my living room as well. And then here's the shoe organizer. Y'all, tell me this doesn't look good. Also, I underestimated the amount of shoe organizers that I needed because this is 24. I need another 12 pack because I still have shoes that are in boxes in my closet. They were pretty affordable too. I think they were like $24 for a 12 pack. Moving on, I got this rug from at home. Part of me feels like I should have gotten a bigger rug, but I didn't, I didn't find anything that went with the color scheme of the rest of the room. So I found this and was like, I mean, it looks nice. It's a nice rug. It has like a nice pattern on it. This rug right here from at home was $20. This dresser from Ikea, literally perfect. It fits everything. Have my socks and undies up here. The gym clothes that I had in the bin, y'all. Look at this. They're all folded up nicely in here. And then down here is like clothes that I go to sleep in and shit like that. Okay, and then this wall right here, y'all, this was my vision. Do y'all see the vision now? Y'all see it. I have the plant here from Amazon. I'm not gonna lie, this was a pretty penny. It was like, 50 for, like $54 for this plant. It's a five foot palm tree plant. I mean, it's nice. It was easy to put together. And then I got this pot from, oh, Marsh, no, Home Goods. I got this pot from Home Goods. This was about $16, I believe. Okay, much better. I got my light. Trays from at home. The gray dish is also from at home. This candle here, this mahogany oak candle is from Marshalls, I believe. And then this vase is from at home. And then this plant vase here is from Marshalls. And I think everything on here was literally less than $50. I wanna say less than 40. I got this canvas picture frame here from Hobby Lobby. And then moving on to this neon light, y'all. Oh my God, this came out so good. I ordered this custom neon sign from Amazon. It was pretty easy to, you know, customize. I feel like this looks perfect in the space. And this was less than $100 to be honest with you. And I have it hanging with command hooks. It did come with nails, but if you're someone like me who's afraid to put holes in their wall, just opt for the command strips or command hooks. It works great. This is the new clothing rack. You guys already saw when I was putting it together. Pretty sturdy, pretty nice, very sleek. And then moving over here, guys, I will say it was hard to find decor for my bedroom to be honest with you. That's why I have these two bottom shelves still empty. I still have things coming in the mail, but I just couldn't wait any longer. So so yeah, starting with the top row here, this book is from Hobby Lobby. The vase is from At Home. Leaves are actually separate. I bought them from Hobby Lobby. And then this gray looking clock here is also from At Home. And also this book is actually like a case, like it opens up and you can put shit in it but I don't think I'm gonna do that. And then moving down here, I got this mirror from At Home. You can actually find it cheaper on Amazon. And then this bubble candle, y'all. First of all, it has no scent. Um, I got this from At Home and they had so many different colors too. They had gray, black, brown, and then this two piece statue. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? is also from at home as well and then moving down here don't mind this piece here this piece is separate found it in my apartment i just threw it on top but this candle was about 21 dollars, and low-key i kind of want to return it because yeah 21 dollars for, for a candle that's od i only bought it for the aesthetic obviously this plant is from at home and then this blue vase this blue glass vase is from Marshalls. And everything here was pretty affordable. Everything ran from like, I don't know, maybe 12 to 12 to $20. Y'all, this bedspread, y'all need to get yourselves one of these, okay? Number one, it has such a nice pattern on it. It's like this diamond pattern. 
It's a quilt. The throw blanket I got from Target, very soft. It was actually on sale. And then the quilt with the matching pillowcases I got from Amazon. Um, I wanna say together it was like less than $30 to be honest with you. And then you guys already know the gray sheets from Bed Bath & Beyond. And before y'all come for me, yes I did wash the sheets before I put them on my bed. Debate your mother. Moving on to the nightstand. Nightstand is from Ikea. Y'all, I was struggling with figuring out what to put in this little shelf area here. At first I was like, okay, let me put a candle, but that wouldn't make any sense. Why would I put a candle in here? Then I was like, okay, let me put some books and magazines or something. And then I thought to myself, I don't even read. So then I just went with these two little plants <laughs> for now. These plants are from at home. They were about like three or $4 each. I don't have anything in here. Yeah, except for that. And it's kind of dusty in here. So I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, but this was pretty easy to put together. And then on top, I was also struggling with figuring out what to put on top. So I just left it simple. This candle is from Marshall's. It's teak wood and oak. Isn't it giving like Le Labo vibes, low key? This lamp here was actually gifted to me by my old store manager when I used to work in stores. And she gifted this to me about two years ago. <laughs> and I just never took it out of its box and I felt so bad. So I finally did it. The lamp is so nice and I love it. And I think she got it from Ikea. And then this neon strip light is from Amazon. It came with like these little things that you can like stick the light, the strip light on um, and also nails that you can drill it through the wall. But I was like, you know what? I improvised. I took command strips and just cut them up, put them on the holders and just stuck them to the wall. Then I just did a little squiggly design on the wall. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but honestly, this looks good for now. So yeah, guys, that's it for the room transformation and the room tour. Um, I hope you guys liked everything that you guys saw. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along this journey with me. If you liked this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You better subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Love yours.